Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm actually kind of excited about this video since it's a Chad or a traditional drawing recording, and it's something I've been wanting to do since I restarted the channel. And I was just stuck with uploading digital video since that's what I had recordings of, and I didn't really have the proper equipment or any kind of equipment that would properly record a traditional drawing. That's because my phone, which I used to record my voice, is a bit of a potato. It was a Lenovo A536, and its camera, I don't even know what its camera was, but it was bad. When I checked it out on the computer, it was blurry. Everything went wrong, so I decided to hold off. But recently, I was handed down a nice new phone. It's an Asus Zenfone 5. It has an 8 megapixel camera. It's not super high quality like a iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy 6 to 7 edge, whatever. But it's good enough. It shows the picture well enough. It has a good flash. It picks up color pretty well, actually. In this ISO settings that I usually like, that you can only find with DSLRs usually, it's not perfect, but it's, it's good enough for this quality or caliber of a YouTube channel. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while since my gallery or my main my batch of works or my portfolio of works you could say is actually half digital, half traditional. And I usually work with watercolors. Uh tube watercolors to be exact. You'll see it later in the in the video. And since I guess the YouTube channel didn't really fully uh, express or convey the things that I can do since you can only see my digital works. So now that I can record uh, traditional paintings, I guess there's more variety to the videos that you'll be able to see here. And even though I'll be mostly working on watercolors, eventually I might upload colored pencils, uh, acrylic, oil. Oil kind of takes forever so I'm not sure about that but I do know how to use it. Or somehow. Kinda. I studied it a bit, eh. So today, the art piece we are working on is a piece of fan art for the game Fate Grand Order or Fate Go. It's part of the Fate Stay Night, Fate Zero, Fate Unlimited Blade Works, Heaven's Feel, Extra, Extra CCC Universe. So it's a mobile game, you can have it on iPhone and Android. Even though it's Japan only, so you have to do a little bit of googling how to get it to work on your phone. It's easy, so don't worry about that. So we are drawing one of the servants, and this archer... This is an archer, not archer, Emiya archer, or Gilgamesh. This is David. He's, as I mentioned, part of the archer class. He comes from the David and Goliath lore, and he's also the father of... King Solomon, if you're not familiar, or it, I'm sure you're kind of familiar with Christian um, lore and stories. I think he kind of comes up there. He does. So, why did I choose him? Number one, his character design is really nice. Like, the, his outfit is a type of outfit that I like drawing. Even for my character design, it's the type of things that I would like to be able to draw eventually. Second thing, he's kind of cute. Yeah, he, I find him cute. And also, I guess I got attached to him since he's the first uh, archer servant that I got. And he's the highest archer servant that I have. I have higher servants, but not in the archer class. I don't even have Emiya or Robin Hood yet. I have Arash. And who the who I have? Not sure. Anyway, oh, I have Billy the Kid. Which is eh, but David's the highest one. He has a good team support. He's a staple in my party. I might draw my party eventually, who knows. But yeah, I'm, I'm just really fond of this servant and I don't see a lot of fan art of him since he's not really famous nor is he a 5 star card so uh, it's to be expected. I have a tendency to fall for the less popular servant sometimes if I have a choice. Which is sad. <laughs> so 
So for this uh, video, the materials I'm using is a Canson sketch pad. This is the one with the brown cover. It's not the best for watercolor. It's more for pencils, charcoals, pastels, colored pencils. But it holds water kinda decently. It buckles a lot if you use a lot of water eventually. Or if you use water, it does buckle. But it, the thing is, I like that it flattens out also somehow. So it's not as bad as, say, when you work on normal bond paper. But it's not ideal. I, I just like using it every now and then. And also, I was just kind of testing this. Originally, I wanted to color this piece in with colored pencils, but since I figured that my main traditional medium is watercolor, I should start my first chat video with watercolor. So there's that. The first thing that I used my pencil is a Uni Shalaku. It's 0.7, and the lead that I use is a Color Eno. Uh, pilot color eno and the second thing is well this is the first pen that i use it's a fine liner it's the blue pilot drawing pen with the size of 05 the second pen that i use that i used for making the lines thicker and it has better ink flow or it flows better along the page is a sakura pigma micron 04 uh, the brush that I'm using is actually a Pentel water brush. Uh, and the watercolor that I'm using is a Reeves watercolor 18 artist color set. So, nothing too inaccessible, nothing too, inexpe too expensive. The only thing that's super expensive was the Pentel brush and the Sakura Micron pen. Aside from that, most, most of these supplies you can easily find. I don't live in the US, I live in the Philippines, so if you go to National Bookstore, chances are you might find some of these. The others, if you live in Metro Manila, you might find them at Diovir, if you're familiar with it. There's a Diovir in SM North, and I'm not sure where the others are actually. You can Google that. I trust you know how to Google. But they're relatively easy to find. Just the Pigma and the Pento Aqua Brush is a bit, a bit expensive. But it's kind of handy. The Sakura pen is definitely worth it. The Pento Aqua Brush, I feel like I could have chosen a more cheaper brand and still have gotten the same results. But I didn't want my first Aqua Brush experience to be bad, so I went for Pento, which might have been a mistake. But it works fine, so I guess it's okay. The water reserve was a lot. I filled the pen up before I did the entire drawing, and I still have about one fourth of water left. So it's okay. I mean, yeah, good enough. The challenges with the water brush is that uh, you really can't super control the flow of the water. And like when you use a normal brush, you can kind of control how much paint or how much water this there is on the bristles but with this it's a bit inevitable that the paint will eventually um sort of fade out into the gradient if you keep on using the water brush since the water keeps on flowing and the ink keeps on laying down on the paper obviously so it's either you keep on reloading the brush with paint or you just completely wipe the paint and water off and start new with the new load and new water. So it takes some readjusting. Some of like two or three joints of readjusting from a normal brush to an aqua brush. My voice is a bit wonky, I don't know why. So if my voice cracks. And maybe it's been it's already almost 1 a.m. actually. So Maybe my voice is just tired. I don't know. I talked a lot, didn't I? I, I covered a lot. I covered the faith thing. I covered traditional videos. I covered the materials I'm using. Maybe that's why my voice is tired. <laughs> I 
might do more to fate servants eventually since I really like the game. And since I can record more chat videos, I might keep doing it. I'll just um, intersperse it with the main normal digital videos. We'll see. So we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you play Fate Go, tell me who your favorite servant is. I'd, I'd be glad to hear it. I want to talk about servants. <laughs> and follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. Subscribe too. That would be fun. It would be nice. And so, see you around. <laughs> <laughs>